Hi guys, my name is Tom and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at and reviewing the latest wireless focus from Smallrig. Uh, I had a chance to use this recently on a, like a small two-day music video shoot, uh, so I actually have some real-world experience. Now, by the way, this was sent in to me by Smallrig to test out. They didn't pay me for this review so, and, and they also have no say over the final edit of this video or my opinion, obviously. But anyways, this is kind of how it comes in, so that's the case and you open it up and all the parts are in here so i'll kind of go one by one the, i guess the main thing are the the motors so these motors as you can see they they have the standard pitch ratio um so it will work with most you know geared lenses but in case you don't have geared lenses they, they do actually provide a couple of these things that you can just throw in onto your lens uh, i didn't use this because my lenses are already geared so and there's actually two motors in this kit because if you wanted to you could for example operate let's say the focus and the zoom or maybe the aperture of your lens again depends what kind of a lens that you have uh, i ended up pretty much using one of them uh, pretty much most of the time and that was mainly just to control the focus uh, but again you can, you can operate both of them at the same time and that's because you have uh, well you have various ways that you can actually control these motors so the most favorite way is using this wireless controller uh, and that simply means that you know you can have somebody off to the, on the side let's say in your video village that could be pulling focus and you're not tethered directly to the camera and you're letting the operator just worry about the framing while uh, the other person takes care of the focusing that's how I end up using this throughout most of this music video shoot uh, because the director wanted to be really hands-on and uh, I wanted to actually operate the camera and that allowed me to pull focus remotely. And uh, now the, this thing is advertised with the wireless distance maximum up to 100 meters. That's in ideal conditions. Obviously meaning, you know, there's no uh, signal interference uh, like walls, obstructions or even other signals, right, that, that are in the same frequency. Now, like is mostly the case in real world settings, uh, you're not gonna have ideal conditions. So in our case, when we we're doing this music video, uh, there was actually a bunch of times where I was operating and like, basically pulling the focus from one house while we were in the neighboring house actually filming some of the scenes. So in that case, the signal was actually, it wasn't a big distance, it was maybe around 15, 20 meters, but it was going through four walls and uh, they're concrete walls. And that's when I noticed it would still work. Uh, and sort of the nice thing is that you have a digital display on, on all of these, on the motors and on this, on the uh, you know, wireless follow focus here controller. Uh, and it will actually show you if you're basically, if you've lost the signal. So we did actually sometimes end up losing the signal. Uh, and uh, it wasn't all the time, it did actually work surprisingly well, but ever so on it would cut out. Uh, the good thing is though that whenever it would reconnect it did not need to recalibrate the lens or anything like that it would basically take the the range that is uh, be, being basically sent through the transmitter and the motors would right away snap to that setting uh, now to basically remedy that i end up actually having to move over to the garage of the, the house that i was in so basically eliminating one of the walls so then it was going only through three concrete walls and then in that case, it worked no problem. And I, that's how I operated the rest of the, uh, the shoot, you know, basically with this controller. Uh, otherwise, another way that I did uh, basically pull the focus a few times when I operated the camera myself is with this handle. It's also included in the kit. And then uh, it's actually a wired connection because you just have a USB-C connection here. And then you have one on the motors. There's actually two because one is for recording functionality, which I'll get into later. But... Uh, basically, you can trigger, you know, recording on cameras. Uh, and yeah, and then with this uh, hand, uh, basically, grip, you can just pull this little here knob, and that will allow you to actually pull the focus. So it is kind of nice. Like, I had it one time set up where I had this on, on the rails, and they give you, by the way, the, all the things to kind of mount it. So there's various ways that you can mount it. And since this is made by a small rig, and actually all of my camera cages and and rigs are actually, you know, on my different cameras are made by small rig and meant that everything kind of worked nicely together. Uh, so they give you this thing, for example, for 15 millimeter uh, rods. Uh, so you can attach that and then you can, for example, you can attach this Airy Rosette adapter. Uh, they have this other kind of adapter for the, 
for the hand grip so like different positions that you, you want to put it in uh, there's this one too again that would uh, slide onto the picatinny rail that's on that mount and then you attach the, the handle this way so there's lots of different ways to attach it and then there's the airy rosette style attachment and it's like this one very secure so if your camera or your rig yeah, let's say camera cage has that you can also use that to attach the the grip to that um, and that's basically how I would pull it when, it when I was actually operating the camera and, and that is then convenient especially on this shoot where we're using anamorphic lenses that have a really big throw on the on the gears for the focus and even just with like a standard follow focus or forget about it if I wanted to use my hand directly on the lens it just meant that I would have to like you know turn it a few times until I went from one extreme to the, to the other Whereas with this, you can easily program the marks A and B, for example, or just calibrate the lens and you can quickly just go like this with the pull of your finger from one end of the lens to the other when it comes to the focus. So uh, that actually came in really handy. So for example, if you wanted to connect it this way, they do provide you, the, it's a standard pretty much USB-C to USB-C cable. Um, you plug in one side to the here. And let's say we'll plug the other side to the, the motor. And uh, you plug it in basically to the one that's here on the bottom. Now, uh, basically you can power it using this cable. Um, and so in th that case, if you want to keep the whole package lighter, that's pretty much what I was doing. But then that means you got to power the actual grip. The grip uses the Canon LPE6 batteries. So I'll put one in here, just goes here on the bottom. To power it, just press and hold the, the record button. And you'll see up here on the display, I'll actually show you basically what your settings are and all that stuff. Uh, in this case, uh, well, let's power the, the motor and the motor, uh, you'll press these two up and down bu buttons at the same time. And now you see they're turned on. And then it's pretty straightforward. You can just rotate it this way, see? It works right away. Now, if obviously, whenever you put a motor on a lens, you wanna calibrate it. Again, it's super easy with this. I don't have it mounted right now, so I'm not gonna do it, but you just press and hold the, down, uh, the arrow down button. And all the instructions are actually very simple kind of to understand because what I like that a small rig did is they kind of made it very visual, so. Uh, you know, when it comes to setting it all up, but afterwards, if you want to see all the functionality that are hidden, they kind of show you in all the pictures, basically, you know, what, what button you press and what you're going to have here. So if you want to calibrate your lenses, adjust the channels, things like that, uh, it's fairly easy to do just by looking, you know, even if you forget by sort of referencing the, uh, the manual. And then, yeah, you just operate it straightforward. Uh, you can set A and B marks and all that stuff. Again, I'm not going to do it here because, because it's not connected to the lens. And then in this case, it actually shows me like a little USB icon there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that icon just means that it's a wired connection. So that's one way that you can use it. Of course, if you wanted to have this longer, you could. You can just get another USB-C cable. Uh, but if you're operating it on rails, usually you have this on one, one rail and the handle on the other rail, then it's pretty easy and the cables has plenty of length. Now, when it comes to the other here, USB-C connection that you'll see on the motors, those are uh, for driving or controlling the camera. Mainly just basically you, you can trigger the recording on your camera. So again, let's see if you have it with the sort of hand grip on the, on the rails. It's kind of nice because you can just directly from there hit record and then you can control your focus. Uh, and this will work with all the cameras, I mean, Sony, Panasonic, uh, whatever it is, Zcam, Canon, whatever other cameras. Again, for all that info, check my website. Uh, and there's different cables though that you're going to have to get. They're not included in the kit. Uh, I believe SmallRig provides some of these, but th there's also other manufacturers, I think, that, that make these cables they basically fit with uh, different cameras. You can actually, which I ha haven't tried it because I don't have a Canon camera, but you can I believe with, I think it's only with Canon camera. Again, for those details, <laughs> check my website for the specs, but uh, you can wirelessly also trigger uh, the recording in certain cameras. I think actually, yeah, I think it's Canon and Sony. Again, don't quote me on it, but uh, you can check that out in, with, uh, with all the specs. And then that's kind of nice because both of these controllers, both this one, 
And this one they have basically these record buttons right here. And uh, this one's on this side. So you just press the record button and you, you trigger the recording in your camera. Um, now, if you were to disconnect it, and let's say you wanted to operate it wirelessly, uh, you can actually do it, like I said, just by holding this. And I found this to be perfectly fine, just holding it this way. This, by the way, has a built-in lithium ion battery that's 1400 milliamps. Should last you, according to the, you know, to a small rig, around 20 hours. I have never really pushed it because, uh, or tested this out because I've never had to use it for 20 hours continuously. Uh, and in fact, actually, I've charged it only once. So let me start it up and let's see what it says now. So I've used it for two days on this music video shoot and okay, it's down one bar. So it still has a juice in there. And you can see you have the display uh, just like with the other one and it kind of shows you the whole kind of circle. So it shows you which part of the, the focus you are or, or you know aperture or whatever of the turn of the wheel. It also shows you a little number there. And that's one thing that I like is that this actually kind of remembers the, the position of the wheel. So even if you were to, let's say, disconnect these, let's say you're changing the battery or whatever, for some reason you lose connection and then you connect it again, or like, like I was saying, in some cases we lost connection because we were shooting through multiple walls. The good thing is that once they do reconnect, you don't have to recalibrate uh, and they just automatically, basically the position snap to whatever the setting is on your transmitter or on your controller. Um, so that, that is definitely sort of a, a nice feature to have. You don't have to worry about like with some of the other systems, but each time you disconnect, you got to recalibrate and all that stuff because otherwise the system doesn't know which position you're in basically. Um, so yeah, you can use it like this. You can see you have every reset connections here. So you can mount it again on your rails or on your camera if you wanted to do that. Uh, I just was holding it like this. I found it very easy to operate. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually attach it to this handle here. So you can take this out and this whole thing basically has a here uh, USB-C connection, by the way, again, for charging. And I think that's what it is only for, but maybe you can actually wirely, like, like with the wireless or with a wired connection connected to a motor. I haven't actually tried that, but uh, if you just simply put it on this, then as you can see, you can have then a nice uh, handle. And by the way, then let's say if you're running low on battery, then the, the battery, the, the Canon battery that you put inside the grip will actually power this then. Uh, and then, yeah, and then uh, actually, yeah, in fact, you can actually see it right now. See, it shows you the battery that is being powered, uh, which by the way, yeah, you can also, um, while you're using it, you can connect a USB-C connection and you can power it and charge it at the same time. But yeah, then this way, if you wanted to, you can just have your handle here and it's, I guess, more comfortable. Now it is bigger, but yeah, if you wanted to, you can just operate it that way. This unit will put back here and let me just start up the motor. Oh yeah, but now, just to kind of make you aware, obviously there's no no cables going in there and there's no built-in battery you know, when it comes to the motors. So how would you power the motors? Well, you can power it by connecting a um, USB-C power source in here. Uh, and so there's various ways and various, uh, again, I'm going to put all the information on my website. So as always, check out tomantisfilms.com and just check the latest post for this. Um, so you can see all the specs and stuff, but basically there's different voltages that this will accept. Um, so you can, you can do it that way, or you can use one of these battery plates. They provide you two because you, again, you have two of these motors. So you can put one of these battery plates and it accepts uh, Sony uh, NPF style batteries. So yeah, so you take the Sony NPF style battery and then just put it in here. Now that will add obviously considerable weight. You can, again, you can use smaller batteries if you wanted to. But that's how I used it. And to be honest, like when I was operating wirelessly, which was most of the time on this music video, and uh, uh, nobody complained when they were operating the camera that it was too heavy. So, so on the screen, when you power it, it will, will show you what channel you're in and all that stuff, all the settings. So you obviously want to pair them with the, your transmitter. Um, and then once you pair it, then again, you just use the controller to remotely uh, drive this. And like I said, my experience so far, worked flawlessly again the range if you have a lot of obstructions then you know, obviously you, you want to get in closer or just cut those obstructions somehow but otherwise for most of the settings like that we were using 
Like I said, going through two, even three walls was okay. Uh, and I haven't really tested out like open line of sight, to be honest. Like I've done some of these tests with some of these previous uh, wireless follow focus systems that I've used, but uh, I haven't bothered to do it with this one because honestly, I, I don't, don't see myself using at a hundred meters away. Like if you're on an actual film music video shoot, uh, if, if you need to be that far, you know, and let's say the, the distance is cutting out then you, you'll always find a way to get closer to the, the camera so you can operate it. Um, but yeah, for, for my kind of use so far, I found this actually to be very good. And, and it's kind of funny because they sent this in to me, like I said, for review. And I didn't really have like any, you know, when I got it, I didn't really right away think of any a scenario where I was going to really have to use it. And then the last minute this music video shoot came up and I was like, hey, let me use this on there. And I really just thought it was going to be kind of like a gimmick. Okay, I, you know, we'll use it for one or two takes and that's it. But we ended up using it for the whole music video. And it, I got to say, it really came in handy and it didn't fail me even once. So if you guys are looking for a wireless follow focus system, definitely check out the new one from uh, Small Rig. Once again, I'll provide all the info down in the description of this video or on my website at tomantosfilms.com. That's it for this one. My name is Tom Antos and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.